Thank you so much. That's quite an introduction. Um, I, uh, my mother would be proud and my dad wouldn't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, let's give a hand to uh, America's Bike Messengers, my teammates, Team Kevin. Morristown. Every year you really make us earn it. <laughs> um, today was hard. Um, you know, I uh, was looking around at my teammates, I saw a lot of pain faces. Uh, but I, I tell you what, um, what, what inspired me the most um, was uh, Nicole Hoy, Dave's wife, who rode with us for the first 20 miles. Mm. And after what she went through losing her husband, um, for her to be on the bike riding with us uh, was all I needed to keep me rolling through uh, some really bad rainstorms, a uh, little bit of shivering, um, but it was just inspiring and, and warm. And so uh, thank you, Nicole. Uh, so we're riding this year uh, a little bit different. Um, we're coming to Morristown again for the seventh year in a row. And I don't think that will ever change. Thank you, Mayor. <laughs> Thank you, Rebecca, and everybody else who made this possible. The ride this year is 625 miles, not for the faint of heart. Um, we'll go through six states. We went through three of them today. So, you know, by that calculation, we may be halfway done. But <laughs> I'm not so sure that's true. We'll climb about 25,000 feet uh, if you can do Pittsburgh. So why do we do this? And why do these bike messengers every year get on our bike and take a, a really hard journey over a short period of time? Because we're here to deliver a message. And the message ought to be heard loud and clear that enough is enough. Amen. Yes. Enough is enough. <laughs> we, we ride to honor the 20 children and six educators that were murdered at the Sandy Hook School down the street from where I live. We ride to honor the 200,000 victims of gun violence since Sandy Hook. We ride to deliver the same message we deliver every year, and the Congresswoman alluded to it, of peace, hope, and love. And we ride to deliver the message of unity, uniting new towns, and Pittsburgh, and all the communities that we will ride through in between. We ride to bring people together to engage in real conversations about what it will take to make our country safer. We ride because the political process has to change. And I applaud the Congresswoman and the Congressman who's here today, because they're going to be part of that change. Mm -hmm. But they can't get that change done unless all of us come together to change the culture. When you look back on all great movements, whether it be the Civil Rights Movement or more recently the LBGTQ Movement, the culture changed and the politicians followed. Mm -hmm. We need to make sure that we are out there driving the cultural change so that the political process will bring about the results that we all want every American wants, which is to make our country safer. So as we ride, we are calling on the faith community, and I thank the Iman for being here. We left uh, Newtown to an interfaith prayer service, and our Iman was there, as well as members of the entire interfaith council. <coughs> you are the resource for conversation and transformation. You are the source of hope and peace. And so we call on the faith-based community to join together because an attack on one faith is an attack on all faiths. My mother um, is a Holocaust survivor. Just growing up, never thought that I'd see the day when kids are gunned down in classrooms when families are murdered in churches, synagogues, and mosques. 
while engaged in simply peaceful prayer. Never thought I'd see the day where people are shot down on a daily basis on city streets. <coughs> Congressman Robin Kelly of Chicago, who has greeted us when we went to Washington a number of times, describes what's happening in Chicago as a slow-moving massacre. And that's so true of many of the cities that we will roll through. I never thought I'd see the day when white supremacists would gain momentum and start gaining a foothold in our society. Since 2016, anti-Muslim hate groups have tripled. There's been a significant rise in anti-Semitism, attacks on the LBGT community, and our black churches have been targeted for violence. In this toxic environment, it's not surprising that deadly attacks on our places of worship have occurred. And with easy access to firearms, especially AR-15s, a single hate-filled individual has the ability to kill people peacefully engaged in prayer. Happened at the Mother Emanuel AME Church in Charleston, South Carolina, the First Baptist Church in Sutherland Springs, and more recently the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh. But what I saw emerge in our society, and what gives me so much hope, is that after these awful tragedies, we all came together. Rabbis and imams and pastors and fathers all came together in prayer and united our communities and did so to denounce hate. In 1963, the great Martin Luther King Jr. said, darkness cannot drive out darkness, only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate, only love can do that. We are your bike messengers, riding for peace, hope, and love. Join us every year as we come through here, mm -hmm. and we'll keep coming. And stand tall for the values that are so important to us as Americans. Together, let's send a message that we will no longer tolerate hate. We will spread the gospel of diversity and inclusion and tolerance and no longer allow for hate to pervade in our society. Because we will ride on, we will keep riding on, and I know that the mayor, the congresswoman, the congressman, and Rebecca, and Teresa, and all the moms, and all of you will join us in singing out for freedom. Thank you so much. Yeah.